We are going to introduce you a very important property of frequent patterns, which is called the downward closure property of frequent patterns. Let's look at this simple transaction database, TDBY. It contains only two transactions, T sub 1 and T sub 2. Suppose we get a frequent item sets A1 to A50. Then we actually can clearly see all its subsets, like A1, A2, or A1, A2 as an item set. They are all frequent. Okay. Then you may wonder, there may, must be some interesting hidden relationships among different frequent item sets. Actually, there is one called downward closure property of frequent patterns, which is also called the apparate property. Okay. Now, let's look at this. Suppose we know beer, diaper, nuts, this item set is frequent. Obviously, beer and diaper should be frequent as well, because any transaction which contains beer, diaper, and nuts must also contain beer and diaper as an item set. That's why the beer and diaper as an item set should be at least as frequent as beer, diaper, and nuts. So we can easily derive this property so that any subsets of a frequent item set must be frequent if we keep the minimum support threshold as the same. So in that context, we can derive an efficient mining methodology. The general philosophy is this. If you find an item set S, any of its subset is infrequent, then there's no chance for S to become frequent because based on this apparent property, then we do not even have to consider to mine S. This actually turns out to be a sharp knife for pruning. So this apparate pruning, uh, based on this, it generates quite a lot of scalable pattern mining methods. So the first apparate pruning principle was discovered by Rakesh Agra and Srikant in VRDP 1994. Heike Manila in KDD94 workshop also generated a similar methodology. The methodology generally says, if there's any subset, any item set which is infrequent, then its superset should not even be considered or not even be generated. Okay. Based on this, there are three major approaches developed in subsequent studies. One, essentially, is APRA. The first representative work was published in VRDB 1994 called Level-Wise John-Based Approach. Another method was developed by Zaki et al. And what they got called ECLAD is based on vertical data format. Then the third approach essentially is a pattern-based is frequent pattern projection and growth. It's pattern growth approach called Epi Growth, developed by us in year 2000.